used in decorating. It's only ever used really for light work. So, papering ceilings, um, cross lining walls, maybe putting coving up, painting coving, things like that. Um, where you don't want to be constantly up and down the steps, or you do need that span to do the ceiling or cross lining. And um, right deal. Um, again, also depends on what weight you're carrying, basically. So if you're heavy build, then using a plank of say eight foot um, will have quite a bit of flex in it and maybe a risk of it cracking. So you could opt to use staging, trestles and staging. Um, like a Youngerman board where you're looking at possibly half a metre wide and maybe seven metre span. So it can be quite big. Um, so plank, not too bad if you're not carrying a lot of weight. If staging is too long, then you could cut the plank down. And this is roughly about five foot. And it gives a reasonably strong platform. The distance between each tread is roughly about one and a half meters. That is the maximum span you would want generally on a plank. But again, light work. Depending on how heavy you are, an eight foot plank isn't too bad. The ends of your plank, what we call a trap end here, the distance wants to be four times the thickness of your plank. So when you come to the end, that calculation, generally the length and weight of the plank it's not going to tip too quick and set you off. If I lengthen that, then simply that creates more of a tip. So that's not too bad on a pair of steps. Because you've always got something that will stop you a little bit. But if these are on building builders' trestles, where you have nothing like this, then that would be vital. You wouldn't want to be tipping and dropping off the end of your plank. Also, with these being Temporary staging, moving around the room fairly quickly. What you want to avoid doing is clamping this plank. There's no need to clamp the plank. Grant is keeping that where it is. The wood isn't going to slide too much on the metal. If it is a wide plank and it's flexing a little bit, now if you clamp here, all you're doing is drawing the steps back. The clamp can eventually come loose. Plus, if taking your time, messing around doing that. If you were worried it was going to slide either way, you could simply just put your clamp on to the end of the plank, or screw a block of wood. Always leaving a good inch either end for that flexing. And again, like I say, because these are temporary, then you want to be able to move around. Clamping it will just slow you down. For instance, if I just wanted to drop this plank now, I don't necessarily have to go all the way down. And simply just I'll drop myself down and I'm able to work, carry on. Mm. 
when using these building trestles for building walls, then if you're building from the ground up, you work to your height, then you move to your trestles and then build up again to a certain height before maybe moving on to scaffold. Um, allows for the build to proceed at the bottom without the scaffold interfering with any work. Um, and then if you are using more than one plank joining a distance, then each trestle, the gap has to be right. Your boards, again, like I say, four times the thickness wants to be the gap, this span. That'll allow for no trap end. The distance between the boards is just as essential. So roughly two and a half centimetres or an inch is your limit. So this is under an inch, it's about three quarters of an inch, just over half an inch. So that's okay. And then again, you want your boards to be level. So there's no trip hazards. But when it's like this, and you've no other support, this trap end is essential. We get this distance right. These are only saw horses, but it is the same principle. And generally, it would be up to four planks three to four planks, three being your minimum. This distance here is the maximum. You can take it back a certain amount, but then again, remembering that these boards flex, so you don't want to be bringing it too close to an edge because then it could slip. But allowing enough space for the board to flex, but not too much as it would tip. So another good use for these throughout the day is you need to take a load off to recharge your batteries. Just a job.